So thank you, Yumi. Um, so our, our general director, Patrick McCarthy, wanted to be here to welcome you all in person. Um, but after a busy week last week when he was in Hilo for Gemini meetings, he is this morning heading to Chile to, to visit uh, Rubin Observatory. So it's my distinct pleasure to uh, welcome you all to this Rare Gems and Big Data meeting, uh, to welcome you on behalf of, of Pat and uh, NSF's uh, National Optical Infrared Astronomy Research Laboratory, or NORLAB. And so I think most of you probably know this, but a few of you may not be very familiar with NORLAB. It's still a new organization. Um, so just take a couple slides to explain what, what NORLAB is. So we bring together five distinct programs. Um, so that's Kit Peak, Sir Tololo, the Community Science and Data Center, Gemini Observatory North and South, and um, are as parts of the Rubin Observatory operations into one national astronomy lab uh, that both does and enables research for the community. Um, at NORLAB, we have a, a, a diverse toolkit, we like to say. Um, you see here the major telescopes operated by NORLAB um, and several of the, the key instruments on, on those observatories. And the, the ones highlighted on the, the right are ones nearby here uh, in Arizona and Kitt Peak, um, the May all in the wind. Um, and the latest tool in the kit just arrived uh, last week. Um, so the, the Rubin LSST camera built by Slack um, has safely reached uh, Sir Patron. It was escorted from Santiago last week uh, by a convoy of Chilean Carabineros. Um, the first astronomical images are expected with the camera in 2025 for operations to begin uh, late that year. Um, and so this is a, a picture that was circulated on the Chilean Rubin WhatsApp uh, group last week and um, showing the, the camera in the bay of the uh, Rubin Observatory. It's, it's kind of interesting. It looks a little bit like a lunar landing module. Um, okay, D don't, don't share this at all until the press release. Sorry, it was, it was on WhatsApp and I didn't realize it was. Um, anyway, I, it looks a little bit like a lunar landing module, which is kind of very fitting given all the great exploration it will conduct. Um, okay, so at NORLAB, we have a mission, and that mission is enabling and sharing breakthrough discoveries in astronomy and astrophysics with state-of-the-art ground-based observatories, data products, and services for a diverse and inclusive community. Um, and so in support of this grand mission, um, we are inaugurating a new conference series. Uh, and this, this Rare Gems and Big Data meeting is the very first of this new series that we will hold uh, each year. Um, the, the conference announcement listed a very wide variety of main topics that you see here. So they include large, the, top, the main topics of the, uh, this meeting includes large surveys, time domain and multi-messenger astrophysics, distant galaxies, cosmology, the Milky Way and nearby galaxies, stellar populations, exoplanets, solar system objects, uh, and data analysis tools and techniques. So just about everything you can imagine in astronomy apart from the interstellar medium. Um, so, <laughs> but, but that's, that would be acceptable as well. Um, so our, our, our conference announced listed this wide variety of main topics. And the, the reason for that is the, the motivation uh, this meeting is to explore the discovery space opened by ongoing and future surveys, such as uh, those listed here, Desi, uh, Ruben, of course, Roman, LIGO, LIGO Virgo, Cagra, um, et cetera. Uh, and the tools and techniques needed to find rare gems in these surveys, uh, including uh, anomaly detection, citizen science, AI, and machine learning. Um, and we also wish to highlight the importance of spectroscopic and photometric follow-up, data archives, uh, science platforms, um, and real-time data processing systems. So all of this uh, we wish to explore at this meeting. Um, and so as advertised on the, the webpage, uh, this, the meeting features talks by all of you, the, the experts in the field, to provide the background and context, sessions designed for discussion and active engagement by participants, and live demo and opportunity live demos and opportunities to try out new techniques uh, in the breakout rooms, as Yumi was just explaining. Um, the webpage uh, description ends with a little bit of poetry there, which is the the gems within the data are ready to shine brightly at this unparalleled gathering of astronomical minds. 
I'm not sure who wrote that, but it's it's very lovely. Um, okay, and so finally, uh, we want to encourage all of you to attend as many of the diverse plenary talks as possible, um, even if they're somewhat removed from your own uh, scientific field. Um, the wide range of science topics, uh, all those things that we listed on the, the previous slide, um, is, is designed to foster discussion of the tools and techniques uh, used to mine rare and valuable gems across all areas of astronomy with the goal of inspiring you, the attendees, uh, with new perspectives from the advancements in other fields. And so it's on with the conference. Thank you.